So we're working on this 15B behind me tonight. Uh, I tried firing it up last night and the pony would not start. Pulled the oil bath off and gave it a squirt of starting fluid and it tried to fire. It's not the tank that's blocked up, it's the float that's stuck in the carburetor. So I'm gonna pull the top of the carb off and free it up, clean it out, and see if we can get this track down and I wanna throw a couple uh, clutch bands in it. So, previous video, I think I, I went over, I put the two new swing clutches in it. These are your swing and travel clutches. These were new old stock linings I riveted onto the old bands. But I still have to do the hoist, retract, and crowd. Nope, it just freed up. So... That needle was... stuck, it wasn't coming out. Alright, so I got the top of the carburetor back together. I feel like I need Gino for this.
So the other night we got this 15B running again. We had to fix the, the float in the carb. And I started taking this retract clutch out of it. I picked up some bands uh, a couple months ago, I guess back in May. And uh, while I do have while I do have lining to redo what's in there, these were already relined, and for 20 bucks a piece, uh, I couldn't beat them. So I'm going to swap the retract clutch here. I started taking it apart the other day, but it just got got to be too hot. So these are symmetrical. All five clutches are the same. You can flip them end for end when they start getting some wear on them. Besire Siri really had a good setup going on. So goal today is get that swapped out. I think uh, we'll go through and we'll lube some stuff up. I kind of want to pressure wash the in inside of this out again. Um, I've done it a couple times already, but definitely needs needs done again. So as you can see here, the lining is wore down to the heads of the rivets. And this is what a good band would look like. Got probably 3 sixteenths of an inch of lining. Now, see this one side of the band is worn. This other side, you can see, has a ton of lining left. That's just the way these wear. That's why they say before you get all the way down to the rivets, you flip this lining end for end and you get more more life out of them. So I'm just cleaning up some of the adjusters and uh, getting ready to put the band back in. You gotta grind down some wrenches to adjust these. There's not a whole lot of room in there. I made these extra short to get to the hoist clutch because there's really not a whole lot of room over there. Alright, so I slipped the band back in here. It's kind of a tight fit in this spot. I'm sure I could have removed some stuff and made it a little bit easier. So we've got two plates like this that keep the band in there. If this is your first time seeing this machine, I've got some other videos about when we picked it up from the previous owner. Um, that had been sitting for a number of years and we had to get it running again. So I spent all this time putting this band in only to find out some differences on the years with 15 B's. I couldn't get these there's links back here and they flip up and I should have measured the width of these. These are inch and five eighths and the one that I took off was inch and a half. So I uh, looked at all the other bands I have and I only have one other one that's inch and a half. So all those other bands are for a different series machine. I'm hoping it'll fit the 15B drag line. But wish I would have known that before I bought them. So I'm going to work on getting this band out of here and swapping in the other one. So after changing this band back out and getting this back together, clutch toggles in, we've got our gap down here. Probably go a touch bit more on it.
and then these bolts right here you adjust these so there's a little bit of clearance between the bolt head and the band so when it's released you have a gap between the drum and the clutch so it's the next morning uh, working on greasing some stuff up on the machine so on top of all the grease fittings that you'll you'll see everywhere there's oil holes on some of this stuff like up in here there's an oil hole for the boom hoist ratchet couple more up in there so you got to get all those and then I also go and I oil all these clevis pins and rotate them and that really does help a lot with uh, making these machines a little easier to operate and then You know, I'll lube everything up for your bucket trip. And down here on the, the latch. So, that really helps. And now on the stick, they put what they used to call crater compound. So what I've, I've been using is this TRC open gear lube. I got a good deal on it. I bought a case of it. And you want to put that all the way up and down the stick. That'll really help with uh, how the machine operates also and reduces wear on the saddle. So this has new wear blocks I put in up, up in there. I have a video on that also. But this machine's eventually gonna get the new old stock shovel front put on it. So then if you haven't seen, this is the new drag line. There's some videos up on that. There's a Lima 34, three quarter yard shovel. Back over there we got the high ho there's the Lima 34 drag line. We've got the Inslee K12 shovel. So if you're new to the channel, check out videos on all them also if you're interested. I checked the oil in the chain case and then this is the sump for the gear case. It has two drains, there's a baffle. I got some water out of that. Uh, I think I included it in another video where I dropped this and I scraped all the gunk out of it. And uh, I'll include a couple pictures of the lubrication chart. The only thing uh, I didn't grease yet was this drum on the bottom for the crowd and rehaul. I always thought that was pretty cool. Cleveland Brothers equipment sold this machine.